And today we're going to look at how Padre Pio, spiritually, he was incredibly sensitive. We're going to look at a story that illustrates that. And then also a little interesting fact on indulgences and how one was received from our Lord himself by a saint linked to Padre Pio. Hello and welcome to this channel and here we have a series of short stories on the life of our great Saint Padre Pio. He was a Capuchin friar, he was a mystic, he was a tremendous miracle worker. Do stay tuned to find out more about Padre Pio and to see what his intercession could do for you. A reminder that we do have a Mass, we bring all of your intentions to this Mass every Friday. It's dedicated to Padre Pio. If you want your intentions to be brought there, then you see the video on the end screen, how to enroll your intentions. And we encourage everyone to be part of this Padre Pio apostolate. Be tremendous if you would help by liking our video and sharing the video with your friends and with your colleagues. Now, as we said, Padre Pio was extraordinarily sensitive to the angelic world. And this story now will illustrate it. Some friars who lived in St. Giovanni Rotundo with Padre Pio, they once heard this mysterious sound coming from the friary. One of them said it sounded like voices singing in such beautiful harmony. But no one could find the source of this singing. Now, Padre Pio was deep in prayer at the time. And someone went up to him, approached him, to ask him if he knew where the singing was coming from. And Padre Pio roused as if from a very deep sleep. And he answered, Why are you all so surprised? They are the voices of the angels who are taking souls from purgatory to paradise. And so this certainly does illustrate Padre Pio's supernatural sensitivity both to the angelic world and to souls in purgatory. Apparently, Padre Pio was not only able to hear the souls, but to see the souls as well from, from the other world, from the spiritual world. At times, he was given the gift of also knowing what the eternal condition of those who had died was. It is said that there was a widow of a man who had died by suicide. And she once went to Padre Pio and inquired from him what the state of her husband's soul was. And Padre Pio responded, he is saved because between the bridge and the river, he did repent. But all of these supernatural gifts, they did not come easily. They came at a price. And his life was marked by intense suffering, including bearing the wounds of the stigmata for 50 years. So they were very painful wounds on his hands, his feet, and particularly on his side. Early in Padre Pio's priesthood, he wrote to his spiritual director, saying, For some time I have felt the need to offer myself to the Lord as a victim for poor sinners and for souls in purgatory. This desire has grown continuously in my heart. Until now it has become a powerful passion. I made this offering to the Lord, imploring Him to lay on me the punishments that are prepared for sinners and for souls in purgatory, even multiplying them upon me a hundredfold, as long as He converts and saves sinners and releases the souls in purgatory quickly. And the reason Padre Pio gave for this, to take all of these things on, all of this suffering, he said that suffering increasingly and without comfort was all his joy, because it made the pains of Jesus lighter. Now here is an interesting fact of how St. Francis of Assisi, who ultimately was the founder of the Franciscans, Padre Pio's order was Franciscan, so he traces his origin to St. Francis of Assisi, and this is how St. Francis was given an indulgence by our Lord Jesus Christ himself. And here's a little bit of history or background of the Pardon of Assisi, as it is called. This is tiny church called the Posiancula, very small church located in the Basilica of St. Mary of the Angels, and this is near to Assisi. 
It is the, ultimately the place from which the whole Franciscan movement started. Padre Pio was a Franciscan, and so he would have traced this as his spiritual origin, this church, the Porziancula. If we look at the decorations on the outside of the Porziancula, this tiny church is exquisitely decorated. On the facade above the entrance is a fresco, which tells us the story. It depicts St. Francis receiving from Christ and from the Virgin the indulgence which was known as the Pardon of Assisi. This happened on the night of the year 1216. St. Francis was immersed deep in prayer when suddenly a bright light spread out within the church. And St. Francis there saw Christ and his Most Holy Mother above the altar, surrounded by a whole multitude of angels. And then they asked him what he wished for the salvation of souls. And St. Francis was very quick to respond. I pray that all those who repent and confess come to visit the, this church, the Portiancula, and there obtain ample and generous forgiveness with a complete remission of all sins. So that's it. St. Francis asking for this indulgence, this remission of all sins from our Lord himself. Our Lord responded, What you ask, O brother Francis, is great. But you are worthy of even greater things, and you will have greater. I therefore accept your prayer, but on condition that you ask my vicar on earth for, for my part for this indulgence. So Francis immediately introduced himself to Pope Honorus III. As soon as he could, he went there, who listened carefully to the story and gave his approval. And this was, as we said, way back 1216. Together with the bishops of Umbria, St. Francis announced very happily to the people at the Porziancula, My brothers, I want to send you all to heaven. And from 12th of noon on the 1st of August until midnight on the 2nd of August, this plenary indulgence granted to the Porziancula extends to all the parish churches around the world, all the Franciscan churches. And so if Padre Pio was still with us today, he would certainly have been celebrating this. And just a reminder to join us, please, next time we'll have another video called Padre Pio Silenced. What did he do? And how did Padre Pio react? So let's listen to that story to find out a little bit more on that side of Padre Pio's life. And once again, if you're not receiving reminders of our videos, then make sure that you are subscribed to our channel and click that reminder bell as well.